we're going to talk a little bit about the ORAN Alliance and what's going on with the ORAN Alliance efforts in the United States and how ATT and DISH and Cable Labs are leading those efforts. Share with us a little bit about some of what you know on that front, Ron. Yeah, it's it's an interesting combination. You don't uh, normally see cable labs in the same word yeah. as major operator, telco operators right. um, collaborating. Uh, but that is the case when it comes to open RAN testing. As we know, DISH is a greenfield network, and they're very much strategically committed to open RAN. Right. And AT&T, amongst the major telcos, has been more proactive in supporting it, at least uh, rhetorically, uh, but they haven't actually done any deployments in their network uh, to date. Although it would seem uh, to stand a reason that they would probably be the first amongst the big three to actually get open ran out into uh, the field at uh, some point right. in the near future. Now, uh, Cable Labs, as uh, we know, has been set up by the cable industry uh, dating back to the 1980s to basically test technology for the cable industry to make sure that it's you know battle ready uh, for actual live deployments. And they've uh, been doing a good job of it uh, through the decades. And now they've been branching more into uh, 5G uh, connectivity and, and mobile uh, tech, uh, technology. In fact, the three of them conducted what they call a POC fest uh, across right. uh, four uh, different uh, test areas and are now uh, committed to opening what they're calling their open test and integration centers um, in uh, the Americas. And that will operate uh, the Curio uh, Cable Labs facility. And so right. pretty much Cable Labs is playing a central role here in terms of you know advancing open RAN cause, uh, which is something uh, that doesn't seem that intuitive. You figured like the telcos would be right. uh, further along in this regard, uh, but uh, that is not the case here. And um, so uh, that is uh, also... Uh, coinciding with the fact that the ORAN Alliance uh, has also formed what it's called the Next Generations Research Group to focus on 6G uh, testing now. Mm -hmm. And the U.S. Department of Defense is uh, funding what it's calling Resilient and Intelligent Next uh, systems or rings um, so that uh, the U.S. can maintain a competitive upper hand when it comes to 6G technology. And the reason why I'm noting this is that the ORAN Alliance, uh, for all the good work it's doing, it also has membership of prominent uh, China-based uh, mobile operators, such as China Mobile. And uh, their uh, new uh, 6G initiative is actually being headed by China Mobile. So this is kind of like a hedge, if you will, uh, that right. um, while we're still you know, kicking the tires on 5G, it's not too early to think about 6G more seriously and start you know, some uh, planning. Uh, but I, I think it's definitely demonstrating like there's a lot of variety out there when it comes to the standards bodies and how standardized and inter interoperable open RAN technology is being advanced on, on a global basis. Yeah, absolutely. Exciting stuff for sure.